after a rough start, didn't seem like he'd be able to go four innings for the third straight game. Starting to look like that. Jason Vina, though, with a hot shot. Matthews, sliding stop, throw to first in time. Bryce Matthews with a highlight reel play, caps off a 1-2-3 fourth for Emil Carcharinos. And it will be a 1-2 to Palma Gianni. And pitch. Stewart strikes him out swinging on a nasty changeup, and that is the first strikeout for Tyler Stewart. Pitch is caught on a miss, and Stewart bookends the inning with a strikeout of Geraldo. And Stewart sets, 2-2 coming. Fastball in the outside corner, froze up Espino for strike three. 94 on the black of the plate outside. So Stewart just over 70 pitches, 2-2 coming. Breaking ball, swung on and missed strike three. Tyler Stewart, as strong as ever, six scoreless tonight. Stewart is ready. 78th pitch to begin the seventh, swing and a miss. Got him on the nasty slider. And that is out number one and strikeout number five. Two and two, the count pitch help. Swung on and lifted high in the air to right field. Back is Barracoto, right fielder to the track. Over his shoulder, he makes the catch on the warning track. Unbelievable play by Barracoto. Boy, Scott is still running because he doesn't think the right fielder caught it. And Connor is all the way home. But both umpires, the first and third base side, are indicating that Connor Scott is out on a brilliant catch by Barracoto on the warning track. It wasn't just the walks, it was the plate appearance, the approach they took, the battle fouling pitch after pitch away. One, two, swing and a line drive. Right field, down for a hit. Meyer gets the stop sign at third as the throw comes in from right field. William Abreu, after what he did yesterday, I suppose you can't blame Dick Scott and the Mets for wanting to hold Meyer at third. Hear from people that you know are very knowledgeable that it looks like things are going to happen. It's going to be a major impact for Syracuse, driving jobs and a lot of good stuff. So I'm excited about it. We're also excited about a Carlos Cortez infield single, a slow little roller down the first base line. Cavadas at first couldn't get it out of the glove in time. Shade Drow it Dro also didn't get to the first base bag in time. Next offseason, 1-0, swinging a crown ball, sharply hit up the middle into center field for a hit. It's a three-hit day for Carlos Cortez. It's his fourth three-hit game of the season, his first in more than a month. Pitch to Carlos Cortez, swinging a fly ball, deep right, Abreu going back on the track and looking up. We've got another homer. The fourth of the game for the Mets and the tenth combined between the two teams. The red hot Carlos Cortez is about as warm and humid and sticky as this day has been in Syracuse, New York. It is a four hit night for Carlos Cortez and a two run shot on the seventh. Pitch, swing it a ground ball, left side, it's through in a left field. Cortez just sticks the barrel of the bat out there. He puts the brakes on. Man, he was trying to become one of the very few to now have a five hit game in Syracuse baseball history. Five for five for Carlos Cortez. Franchise record is six hits in a game, but Carlos Cortez joins a very impressive and short list of Syracuse baseball players who have collected five hits in a game. Jason Vina, box one, out to left field, a dive, and Whitaker, does he have it? Yes, he does. Tyler Whitaker with a web gem for the second out. And Mason Wynn will start things off. Left hander on the hill. That is rocketed through the third baseman Groshans. Knocked him down, it was hit so hard. 106, they call it the hot corner for a reason. A base hit for Mason Wynn. That one in the air, that one's out to left, and that ball is way gone. Down two, so what? The Redbirds have Mason Wynn. The International League Player of the Month of July with his first home run here in August. Number five makes it 5-5. Five, five. Mason hitting 321 against lefties this year. Eight home runs, now nine. That one is 
Hit down the left field line. That ball's going to get to the corner. How fast can Nick Dunn run? He'll be held up at third. As a nice job by Brian Miller to get to that baseball. And Mason win. It's been his season. It's been his stretch. He's a triple away from the cycle. And grounds one left side. Backhand stop by the shortstop Amaya. Nope. Not going to get him on a play like that. Mason wins fourth hit tonight and fifth time on base. Ramirez, who has 16 steals, a huge lead. This one roped high and deep to right field over the head of Pineda and over the wall for a home run. Welcome to Brooklyn, Ryan Clifford. And that would have been a home run in Asheville, too. It's a two run shot and it's 3 0 Cyclones, three batters into the ball game. Well, this is a renowned pitcher's ballpark. Didn't make a bit of a difference, though, to Ryan Clifford. First at bat. He's three for seven in the series, and Bremer's 2-2. Two -two. Swinging a chopper up over the hill. Biggers tries to grab it at short. It's out of his reach and into center field. Max Muncy chops a single back up the box. It's the first hit today for the Rockhounds. There's the one-two pitch, a grounder back to third. Sees backhands off the heel of his glove into foul territory. It's a fair ball. And probably will be a single for Max Muncie. Chris C. trying to field it behind the third base pass. And would have had a really tough play to snare that one and throw. Almost as long as an infield throw as you can get. And Max Muncie is aboard with one out. A one-two pitch. Swung on and a soft grounder right side. Past Anderson, fielded by Hatcher, goes back to Aiden, not in time. Loses the ball and the runners will hold put. It's an infield single and an RBI for the Rockhounds and they're on the board. Muncie beat it out on a grounder that just got past Anderson. He had to reroute his course and try to cover it first. No one tossed to Max Muncie. A fister over Polly lands in the back of the infield into center, base hit. It advances swift around second. He pedals to third, and runners on the corners will two out rally for the Rockouts. That's Scott to deep center field. Pete Crow Armstrong is oh, back. Wow. He'll jump up at the wall. Oh, what a catch from PCA! Makes the difficult look routine. Timed it out perfectly. Put it on the highlight reel one away. He is so much fun to watch in center field. Man. <laughs> the delivery. Breaking ball drops in for a calm third strike. A sharp curve coming in at 83. Morissette gone looking. It's the first strike out of the evening for Mizorowski and out number one in the second. One two pitch from Mizorowski. Devers swings and misses. Hard slider near his back foot that he could not resist. Strikeout number two on the night for Mizorowski. Clark has now hit nine home runs since the start of July. Swing and a miss. Hard slider down and away in Banfield. Wanes and misses. Same pitch that got the left-handed hitting Devers a batter earlier. Mizorowski struck out the first two batters of this inning. And a swing and a miss at a breaking ball down and in. Looked like the catcher Diaz wanted to call time, but it wasn't granted, and it is a strikeout to end the frame. 0-2. Oh, Morissette swings and misses, and a third ball down and in. Morissette strikes out, fifth of the night for Mizorowski. 2-2 Two -two pitch, breaking ball, swing and a miss, and that'll do it. Six strikeouts over four good innings from Jacob Mizorowski. It's the best that he's been at double-A so far. 2-2, Two -two. swing and a miss. Mostutler chases the curve down low, and it's strikeout number seven for Mizorowski with the Carolina Mudcats in Class A. 0-2, swing and a miss. Curveball this time down and in. Nunez gone on strikes. Four straight retired via the strikeout for Jacob Mizorowski, and eight on the night. 